On the first day of buckets, I want a ring for Mello. Look, as a New York Knicks fan, I'm sad that we couldn't get one with him. That was such a glorious time to be a Knicks fan. It was the last time since the recent era that I was truly, truly happy to represent the orange and blue. You know, Mello, he represents Brooklyn, also Baltimore, but he, you know, represents Brooklyn as well. And it was a glorious time to be a Knicks fan. It was the hometown kid coming home. We couldn't get it done for him. And look, if my Knicks can't go to the chip and it's looking like that's not going to happen this year, the next man up I want to see is Mello finally get his ring. Nobody deserves it more than him. And I just, I want that chapter. I want that final chapter in his career. I think that would be the yeah. cherry on top. And I think, honestly, he could walk away from the game at that point and be satisfied. No, I agree with you. I agree with you. Go ahead, Lethal. No, I was going to say I agree with you. I think that's the the missing the missing piece. You know, if he wins, he wins. But I would hate for him to win on this team because people are going to try to say he was on a loaded team, you know? They, they they did start off slow, but if you notice, the Lakers have been getting getting a little bit better. They have good chemistry, so we're gonna see how they pull this off. Because I mean, Melo deserves it. I really I really want Melo. I really want Melo to win this ring. I, I don't think Melo has the luxury of choosing his circumstances that lead him to win a championship. You know what I'm saying? I think he's mm. gonna have to ride whatever the whatever wave is gonna get him there. And I, I mean, he could win it in L.A. Or hear me out. Uh-oh. He could enter free Whoa. agency and sign Whoa. with the Brooklyn Nets next oh season. Oh my God! And we're not doing this. Yes. Yo, Lethal, cut his mic. I think that's how it works. We're not doing this, Christian. I think that's how it works. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. It's not happening, bro. Because look, look. Do you guys re- hold on? Listen, look. Put our biases aside. This is not okay. You know let's, do saying, let's do it. Let's do it. Fan of the team. This is this is Ken. This is we want Melo to win a ring, right? Right. And right. I thought it doesn't matter where he wins it, right? Does, is it? There's a ring tarnished Ashley in your eye because he won it with Brooklyn? I can't, or, I can't you know have what I'm it. Like, I can't have it. Oh, I can't she have put it. her Knicks fandom over I the first day it. of Christmas. You know what? It would be different. Wow. You know what though? It would be, I'll tell you why. It'd be different wow. if, it'd be different if Melo never played for the Knicks. But to go from the Knicks and then to the Lakers and mm, it's not going to mm, work, mm, it doesn't mm, work in LA and then to go to Brooklyn. I just don't, first of all, I don't think Melo's that type of person. I don't think he's that type of player. I think that if it doesn't work in LA, I think LA is his last stop. I don't Absolutely. see him going. I don't see retire? him going. I don't I see him going anywhere else after so. Los Angeles. I well, think if it well, doesn't work in LA, I don't know if, he, or unless it's back to New York. That's I mean, I, those are the only two options I see. Right, it will right. be back to New York. Not Across Brooklyn. Across the Brooklyn. I meant, I meant exactly real New York. <laughs> I meant real New York. So just well, he's not winning the championship on the Knicks. So you would rather him go back to the Knicks and retire without a ring. I'm telling you, than I don't go think to Brooklyn he, I think one LA is the final stop. But if he did go back, whether it was like, like a one day contract so he can retire a New York Nick, I could see that. But I don't think he's going to go and play a full season someplace. I really think LA is the final stop for him. Yeah. Oh man. Well, then we might not be getting that gift on the first day of Christmas because I don't think the Lakers will win a championship this year. Mm. So on the second day of buckets, my true love gave to me Knicks versus Nets at Rucker Park. I mean, give it to number me. one. They just re- did. Me. They just revamped Rucker Park this off season. I mean, it's beautiful, right? right? I mean, if you guys got a chance to look at it, it is it is amazing. And what more would just embody New York City than having mm. the Nets and That'd the Knicks crazy. and crazy Knicks fans and not as crazy but still crazy Nets fans pulling up. You'd have people that aren't even interested in basketball pulling up to Rucker Park just to see what's happening, right? You'd have people from all, you'd have people flying in. Ashley, you'd probably, you would definitely fly up from Miami. You'd have people flying yeah. in from all what? over the world to see this I'd game. I'd probably be covering I want that it. to happen. Listen, I did a right. feature at Rucker Park recently for my show Laces Out. And you oh, know, wow. I'm a big fan of street ball just in general. Growing up in New York, it's a huge part of the culture. Right. Um, some of the mm. best ball players in the world are street ball players. You've never seen them in the NBA, but don't get it twisted. They you can cross up some of your favorite players, all right? Just Absolutely. know that right. much. So Rucker is just so historic. I mean, Kevin Durant had one of the best games of his career at Rucker Park. Imagine Kobe him Bryant. going back there. Yeah, oh I mean, Dr. J, even if you go back years, Dr. J, I mean, some of the biggest streetball legends got their stripes at Rutgers. So to have two teams representing New York City just in that culture, just 155th and Harlem just representing, mm-hmm. the energy would just be out of control. Like, right. and here's I'm another here thing. For it. You don't need to have your Vax card checked at Rucker Park. So that means we're going to see Kyrie 
up in there. We're going to see Kemba. You're just Kemba making get, up get his rules groove back. now. You're Listen, making up rules. We, out, ex- we outside. You don't need your best card outside. You feel me? Like... That's what I want to see. I don't know oh about y'all. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Lethal, listen, how would you feel about that as a, as the basketball aficionado here? I, I think that it works. want to get on the court. The only way it's going <laughs> to work, I think they might have to pay the um, people that live. What's that apartment complex right next door? Um I know what you're oh, talking the about. I don't know the name the street. Street. They would have yeah. to probably yeah. pay the people, all the people that have the windows along that. They should pay them to have fans be able to like look out those windows. Like, I don't know if fans, listen, I don't know if fans want to go in there. Yeah, yeah. I don't think that'd be sick. Hear me out on this. Hear me out. Y'all didn't let me finish. And then Ooh. have people on the rooftops. And th- like, I just, I could just picture it like everything of surrounding that can see down that's somebody watching. I think that's safety, of course. That's safe. I was about I to think say, Lethal, I know you from the DMV. I know y'all got the bees in DMV. <laughs> I don't think we want to be renting out the bees to people, bro. We got to figure out a different way. On my third day of buckets, uh, my true love gave to me, let's bring back an NBA team to Seattle. Like, oh, they, let's they, go! They deserve let's it. Let's like, go! I mean, let, let's do this, NBA. Let's make this happen. Like, I love basketball. I'm not from Seattle, but that place, they deserve a basketball team. Like, let's, let's get yeah. it done. Would you want it to be yeah. the Supersonics again or a totally yes. different team? Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> don't, don't change what work. Let's bring the Supersonics back. And then on top of that, let's let's try to make sure try that to bring we KD give back. The, huh? Try to bring KD back? Nah, Chris Wolves. He probably quit the podcast. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's, that's what I was going to say, though. Let's make sure they got at least two superstars off the break, like soon if they start off, let's give them two superstars off the break yeah. to start the franchise. How we just handing them, how we just handing them a championship. Brooklyn yeah. did it. <laughs> Brooklyn take did two it. Two superstars take a, a crazy head coach. Take yo, uh, it's two hundred million dollar salary cap. It's mad funny how Christian changes his tune when it's a different team right. doing what no, no, Brooklyn me, has I'm here. done. I, I want, I want the Seattle SuperSonics back. You feel me? Like, right. I'm thinking Sean Kemp. I'm thinking Gary Payton, KD when he first started out. There's so much rich basketball history in Seattle Man, that I didn't crazy. get to experience because they relocated to OKC. And I got exactly. nothing against OKC, but Seattle is just a different animal. 